643 now in this week's Made in SA. A woman turns her love affair with San Antonio's foods and flavors into a thriving business. And Audrey Castorano shows us how she puts paint to canvas to make it all happen. Tacos, pan dulce, mangonadas, and corn in a cup. There's something cooking in this corner of this shared space. <laughs> yeah, it makes people hungry. While it looks good enough to eat, painter Eva Marengo Sanchez is using acrylics and wood panels to create this scrumptious collection centered around what she knows best. Because I think food is such a love language and feeding somebody, feeding people is, is a love language and it's an act of service. And I think that there's something really intimate about what we put in our bodies that food again tells a story about who we are and who we believe that we are and that is usually very culturally specific. Food ties her to home and her identity. It's like layers of memories of you know usually Sundays after church we would get bandulce and we would take it home and we would have it. Tacos that's something that I've painted a lot of like the tin foil and a taco inside of a tin foil. Just layers upon layers of, of eating those foods. They remind me of family and community and friends and, you know, fruit cups in the summer and just the seasons of life in San Antonio, of my life and how I've experienced it. Marengo Sanchez has always dreamt of painting professionally. Being a painter is just what I've always wanted since I was very little, like it's for as long as I can remember. And I never really thought that it would be a career. Her paintings caught the attention of the McNay, landing her a spot in a current exhibition a place Marengo Sanchez says she's always visited growing up. The McNay especially was a place that just seemed so like in some fantasy that I would have a painting there or for that to be a reality is shocking. I do feel a privilege that I that I can represent my cultural experience and be celebrated for that and that um, you know institutions like like the McNay value that perspective and believe in, in the importance of like other people seeing it and understanding us better. Inspired daily by what lands on her kitchen table, these larger than life images also get an emotional response from those who come upon them. I think that my work does get to an emotional truth that they're, and they're such common kind of almost cliche items, but the way that I paint them, you can feel the respect and awe that I have for them. It just makes me so grateful that I'm able to um, connect with people that I don't even know on that level. So you can catch Eva's food series at the McNay through January. She also sells prints of her works around town, including at Blue Stars. So keep an eye out. And guys, I really, really fell in love with her work when we did that live during Hispanic Heritage right? at the McNay. I remember that. Yeah, so I, we really wanted to learn more about her inspiration. And it's so detailed, you almost want to reach over because it looks so real right? and grab some of that food. That's what she loves to do. She says yeah. she's dedicated to detail. Yeah. Very colorful.